So guys, initial reaction. Cease, what do you think about Haynes King as a starting quarterback for the Aggies, replacing Kellen Mond? I think the most telling thing that, uh, as we just, the three of us said, the smart money all along was on Haynes King. Really, when he came here, uh, no knock on Calzada, but everyone felt it was going to be like King's job. And when Daryl Dickey, when, uh, at media day, when he talked about both quarterbacks, and while he was very glowing about both, when he just stopped at one time, he said, you know, just Haynes can make so many play, but can extend a play with his legs. And I just think it goes back to me, he can make plays with his legs. Yeah, you know, I think for me is it just seems like Haynes is more of the all-around athlete. They've been saying how he's one of the fastest guys on the team. You know, the, the, the background, you know, we, we just heard from his dad. You know, he won a state championship at Class 6A. At, that's the highest level in Texas. You know, he's got championship pedigree. He's got the coaching background. And in in Jimbo's offense, you need a guy who's going to be able to get in there and get going and kind of master and control that offense. You know, it took Kellen a while, but once he did, you really saw Kellen's IQ really lead and kind of propel that offense to the next level. And so Jimbo going through whoever was going to be the starting quarterback, it must have been evident that Haynes was the guy who was going to succeed and be able to do that now that Kellen's gone. Yeah, last year at Haynes King saw action in two games. One of them was Alabama, where he led a drive down. He actually led the team in rushing because of that drive with 43 yards on five rushes, had one completion and then threw an interception, but then was able to come back in his second game and throw his first career touchdown to Max Wright as a 45-yard crossing route against South Carolina, was able to get that first score. But the, the key part to that is, as we've said, there's 43 rushing yards because he is very mobile, very agile, can extend plays. And my thought process has always been, if you have an offensive line that has this bringing, that is losing four starters from last year, bringing in four new people, you might want to have the more mobile running back to be able to give them a little bit of time, a little bit of, of ease of that pressure of, 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 of uh, pocket collapsing and he can do stuff. So with that being said, do you think that there is any indictment in this on where the offensive line is? Or do you think, like you said, it's just that he was the heir apparent when Jimbo brought him in? You know, I actually feel the offensive line, when it's all said and done, might be better than last year's mm-hmm. offensive line. I think this is all about King. When I, when I, you know, think about when you've got to worry if you're a linebacker with whether it's Spiller back there or a chain to start out with, then you look at King comes out and let's say he's able to use a little bit of mobility. We know Weidermeyer is so dangerous in the in the middle field. Now a has got Caleb Ch- Chapman back. Uh, you come outside, you throw it 40 yards. The options with King's legs, again, comes back to me like, oh, my gosh, this offense could be so lethal where he almost gets tackled, and then you could hear the band playing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What about you, Alex? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I'm with Cease. I think this is all about Haynes King. You know, I, I guess at the end of the day, depending on how things go, where, where the offensive line shakes out and how they're able to perform, you know, it could be kind of a cherry on top that, okay, if things collapse a little quicker than maybe they did last year, you have a guy who's got a little bit of escape ability uh, in, in those kind of pressure situations. But, yeah, I, I think this was mostly probably decided on how Haynes, as him in the quarterback spot leading the offense, was able to, to win that battle. So where what does the offense look like with Haynes King under center? Does it look very similar? Is Jim, I mean, Jimbo is a guy who's pretty set in his ways. Is it look similar to what we saw last year with the Aggies? In some instances, Kellen Mond throwing the ball around a lot, or – are we going to see the run game? It, 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 I don't want to say it's going to be balanced, but is there going to be a more of an emphasis on, on the run game with a new quarterback in, maybe some different wrinkles in the pass game? I'm with you on the fact is I think Jimbo's pretty set in his way. I think he likes his offense. He likes all the options. I think King gives him all the options. I don't think it changes his play calling. I just think it enhances it. Uh, I think a couple times, you know, Mon got outside one time, made a great pass down. I forget the game. I mean, I, mean, I, I think we're going to see more of that with King, and I think it goes back to what he said a little bit. You know, coach's son, he, he just – 
he's going to have a better feel for, for being a quarterback. That's no knock on Calzada. I've never seen either one of them, obviously, in a big game. But I just think, you know, when your dad was a quarterback, when you were raised in football, when, you know, that's what Jimbo – Jimbo lives and breathes to, to call games, and I think uh, King's just going to be an extension to him. Yeah, I think this offense is going to look pretty similar uh, in a lot of ways. I mean, one, you got a lot of guys coming back that, besides King, uh, as far as your skill positions go. And then when you, when you kind of look at the skill set, I mean, think about the way they use Kellen sometimes in some of those designed runs. You know, Kellen, he, he didn't look the fastest, but he could get out and run down the field and I feel like maybe that is something we'll see from King. You know, maybe something we see a little bit more is some of that downfield passing. But I think that has more to do with what A&M's got at receiver than what Kellen was able to do or with what Cal or, excuse me, King will be able to do. I think that, I think that is something that maybe we might see a little different this season.